Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Kuluru Vinit. So today I will continue that array playlist. Today's question is finding missing and repeating number in given input array. Here what the question looks like. Assuming our an example is like 1 comma, 2 comma, 3 comma, 4 comma, 5 sorry 4 and n is 5. So our output should be missing number and repeating number. Missing number is here 5 and repeating number is 4 which are in the range of 1 to n. Okay, so the question is clear, right? Coming down to the approach or the intuition that we could come up uh, for this question is I would say uh, let me take an uh, extra an array and uh, that that of size input array to keep track of which element was visited and which was not. So if we find an element which is already visited again we are trying to visit then that would be our repeating element which is our repeating uh, number and uh, the other parallelly to find the missing number what I could do is traverse again the extra array and see if that index was not visited if that index was not visited that would be our missing number I think it will be better clear if I start writing down that approach okay so let me write that approach using extra let me make this as a boolean array extra boolean array and let me name this function name as approach 1 and input would be integers array and since we are going to find the missing and repeating numbers let me make written type as pair of int comma int which is missing and repeating pair of int comma int okay so let me take extra array the which is of type boolean and the size of this would be our input array size and let me take two variables to keep track of missing and repeating I initialize it to zero value straight away I will traverse the input array and see if this element was visited before if this was visited before our answer would be this repeating uh, number would be this one so we'll store that value into repeating variable else what we do is we'll mark that element was visited that is extra array i minus one that's true now we found one our required answer that is repeating so to find the missing number what we do is simple we will traverse that extra array indices and compare if that is false that is false that would be our missing number simple right and then what we do is we return the pair of missing comma repeating this is a simple and straightforward approach one uh, coming down to the time and space analysis since we are traversing array twice year once and year once uh, the time complexity would be order of 2n which is order of n and coming down to the space since i'm using extra array to keep track of which was visited and which was not this would boil down to order of n so let me write down that approach I mean sorry time and space complexity for this approach time is order of n and space is order of n okay so this was our approach one and okay fine is there any any other way uh, that we could do um, this question well let me correct this spelling okay fine uh, i could say same as approach one i could write using different data structure that is hash set so let me write that approach as well so we can keep track of approach two using hash set let me name this as 
approach to and then and this input will be same and output also would be same and now let's take one hash set of type integers and invoke it and also two variables to keep track of missing and repeating missing is zero initially repeating is zero initially now we do is we traverse our input array and see if this contains the element we are traversing then that would be our repeating else what i do is i will add that element into hash set and this was the one traversal to find the repeating number to find the missing number what we do is we traverse this array again and check if this set does not contains that particular index we will know that is the missing number and finally at the end i would return pair of missing comma repeating okay so this would give us the uh, missing and repeating number again coming down to the time and space complexity since it's not much different from the approach one i would say the time and space complexity is same as the approach one so let me write that here as well time is order of n and the space complexity is order of n fine this was our second approach for this question that we were talking about okay so is there any other approach that could uh, beat approach one and approach two in terms of space or time okay mm, okay uh, tackling space complexity i would say there is a mathematical approach for this question this is simple since they mentioned in the question that it's uh, our input will be in the range of one to n so why can't we use the sum of n numbers and the square of n numbers and make two equations and finally it would boil down to the two variables two equations and find the two variable values which is straightforward simple two equations mathematical question so let me write that approach so you will understand on the on the go while i'm writing this question using two equations okay let me name this as approach three let me bring this up okay and this would remain same now let me make this as list of them just for fun okay written type and here uh, it remains same missing as zero repeating as zero and also let me take one variable to store the size of input array and finally this sum of n numbers would be n into n plus one by two okay here n is length so let me write that n plus one by two and the square sum would be n into n plus one into two n plus one by six right n into n plus one into Two into length plus one by six. Now straight away we will traverse the given input array and keep subtracting the current element from the sum of n numbers and square of n numbers so that we'll get two equations to find our missing and repeating number. So I'll subtract get L. subtracting the current element from sum of n numbers and at the same time subtracting square of current element from square sum okay nums of i into nums of i and finally what 
we would after getting two equations and solving both of the equations what we would be getting after solving those two equations is to find a missing number this is uh, the equation that we should write it so that we'll get our missing number okay so n by 2 and to find repeating value we should subtract sum of n from missing okay and uh, at the end i written list of missing comma repeating okay these are the three approaches you know we could come up with to solve this question and uh, analyzing time and space complexity since we are traversing array once the time complexity would be order of n and space is order of one since we are using just a few temporary variables okay so we have created those three approaches and let's start uh, executing them by taking one simple example and compare output of those three approaches okay so let me take one integer uh, array 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 4 okay and also create the object of above class i have created and write three println statements to compare the output of each approach finding missing and repeating using approach one okay so let me call that approach and do the same for approach two and approach three okay so i'll do the same for approach two and approach three and let's compare those outputs just renaming it to approach two renaming it to approach three renaming it to approach three and let's now execute it and see what the output looks like yeah there we go as we see the output for approach one approach two and approach three is five comma four which is what exactly we expected it to be so yeah so this is it for this video thank you so much for your love and support keep watching my videos there will be a lot more exciting coming up your way so thank you so much